So thanks, everyone, and hello, Copenhagen. How are you doing? Hopefully, you are great. The idea, I'm Galo Tokani, VP of Services at Open Zeppelin. The, for people who don't know us, Open Zeppelin is a leading cybersecurity firm focused on blockchain technologies. And we're going to talk more about what we do, but before getting there, we want to bring our perspective of how Open Zeppelin can support the Polkadot community on achieving the vision shared yesterday by both Bjorn and Gav around like how we can make Polkadot more dev friendly, improve the dev experience by providing the Open Zeppelin Parachain Runtimes library. So, let me see. Chan Chan. Okay. So the first question before we get into the weeds is why you are here and not somewhere else? No? Some lag time. Okay. One, one more. Let's give, we can continue. Okay. So the idea of the, the question is to ask yourself, is something I ask every, every morning about why we are here. Why do you decide to come to Copenhagen? Why do you build technology on top of Polkadot? Why do you trust on blockchain? What is your mission? And, and I would love to, like, if you have something like to share, I would love to spend some time after the talk. You can come to our booth, and we can discuss, and we can see how, like, from my perspective and from Open Zeppelin, we can help you accomplish that mission. In my personal story, I came from Argentina, youngest of six siblings, middle class. In my lifespan, I went through like three economic crises. When I was a kid, my family went bankrupt, not because of the bad decision that my dad uh, made, was more related to poor economic decisions made by the government. So since then, I've been like focusing on how can we bring something different? How can we bring uh, a, a new way of, of like peer-to-peer -peer economy? Especially like I see like the and when I when I saw and met like blockchain for the first time, I realized that this like the disrupting technology will have a tremendous impact, especially especially in developing countries, like leveraging the, the field for everyone to play on it. So now the, this slide, that's perfect. At Open Zeppelin, our mission, this align, is to protect the open economy. We are true believers of economic freedom, and we believe that in order to foster economic freedom, an open economy is needed. That means that the way we contribute to the space is by protecting the the applications and the infrastructure that is built on top of blockchain. And, and one thing is important is like we see that the open economy will be multi-chain. And we see Polkadot playing a, a key role in the future and is one of the ecosystems better prepared for this new paradigm. So when we talk about security, what are we talking about? When we, we see security as a multi-layer approach that goes through all the de development life cycle. And this is maybe complicated, but we can divide it in three parts, like pre-deployment, deployment, post-deployment. Post -deployment. When we talk about pre-deployment, we include like the planning part component, the coding, the building. And in that aspect, it's super important to start with like a, a strong threat model to understand what like the attack vectors, how your system will interact with other. And then when you have a good design, it's the moment to start coding. And then there is where like open source libraries plays a critical role, not only to secure the code you're putting because it's already like battle tested, community vetted, but also because it defines a standard that then is easier to, for other projects to build on top of yours, to integrate to, to yours. And that's where we see value that we can bring expertise to, to Potal to build the runtimes library. Then you move to the deployment, where you have like the testing before the deployment, testing, and also like security audits. And moving forward, you have like all the deployment, monitoring, and operations that you can use different type of tools 
to protect this this part of the of the cycle, such as like Open Zeppelin Defender, but there are other other tools available. So the idea that what we encourage developers is to move on or move away from this approach of we will wait until the audit, and if we have an audit, we have all settled, the security is okay. No, we encourage to have like a more like a security mindset since the beginning, leveraging open source libraries, moving to like advanced testings. Then you can rely on audit, bug bounty, monitoring recommendation, incident response plans, and more. So at Open Zeppelin, we have been working in this idea for the last eight years. We have here, and I encourage you to, to get along with, we have Jota, Yu Wang, and from the security research team, top auditors. Also, we have Jared from the solutions team, leading like Defender. So let me tell you a little bit more of the, the story of how we become with these, these products and how these products are helping our ecosystem to foster growth and adoption. So back in, in the days after like the DAO hack, I don't know if you remember, we realized that there was a lack of standardization in the ecosystem where we were missing a big component of a standardized, like a standardized standardized library for smart contracts. And we came up with Open Zeppelin's contracts library that now has like a 99% market penetration over like 99 over the 100 top DeFi protocols are using it. And there is, and I'm going to get more into the details, but basically today any developer can go and deploy a ERC20 or every type of like ERC in less than two minutes leveraging our technology. And it, they know that it's battle tested, it's standardized, it's secure. And supported also by a strong documentation that makes life easier for developers. Then we realize that, OK, we, we give the Legos. Well, here is a good example because we are in Denmark. We gave the Legos, but are they like putting them together in the, in the right way? And that's when we saw the need coming from our like, people, were our users, that security audit was critical. And we came up with the first security audit in the Ethereum space back in late 2017. And it was not until we broke one of the major protocols that security audits became a standard in, in the industry. We have done more than 300 audits. I encourage you to, to talk to Jota. Uh, he's an OG here. And also to Yu Wang, amazing top security researcher, breaking projects every day. So go on and talk. But then when we follow that journey of like helping our community to become more secure, and we realize that, OK, what happens after you deploy the contract? How do you make sure that you manage those contracts in a secure way? How do you upgrade, pause? If you want to uh, set up a multi-sig with different functions, how can we make sure that all the stakeholders are aware and they can vote in a seamless way? And that's when we became with the idea of Defender, that is kind of like the, the leading smart contract operation platform. Stay tuned. More information, more updates are coming in the next month about Defender. And that's something that we also want to bring to the Polkadot ecosystem as kind of like the bedrock for projects to build in a secure way. And finally, like a side geek, we have we have Ethernaut. I don't know if you are familiar with Ethernaut. It's kind of like the most popular CTF in the space. That came from the idea of one auditor who was like breaking code, helping a client, and realized that, hey, this is a great example to educate developers, not only like security researchers or auditors, but also developers, that they want to start to build a security mindset. So we come up with Ethernaut. Now we have more than 35 instances, like levels. And you can go there, you can like, experience as a developer what are like, the most common hacks, what are the most common vulnerabilities that you need to avoid when you are developing your smart contract. And that's something that is a good way to train and to convey like, educational content to the, to the community. And, and just like a quickly like, summary of this, the, the impact, we are in the impact stage. So the impact of the smart contracts library have in Ethereum is like currently we hold almost like $20 billion. Like our smart contracts deployed on mainnet and protect $20 billion 
20 billion dollars of TVL. As I said, almost all DeFi protocols are leveraging our smart contracts, and there are more than 1.5 million smart contracts deployed using our standards. And the two great things, and this is related to what Bjorn was talking yesterday, is a dev experience. On the one hand, we, you have a contract wizard that allows you to deploy a contract in a very handy, easy, seamless way. By clicking, defining a few parameters, you can deploy it, download the NPM package, or, drink, or exporting it to Remix. And in two clicks, you can have it running in mainnet. And, and it doesn't require a lot of technical knowledge to come up with something really cool and really secure. But also, the important thing is like the why user trust our library. First of all, it's like a long-term commitment to the community. We have been already like eight years, and this is like battle-tested, and thousands of projects are using it. But also because our highest standard for security, 99% unit test coverage. We have fasting and formal verification methods applied for different types of functions depending on the characteristics, multiple audits and an active bank bounty program that is managed by us. And this is a public good. Open Zeppelin is the only one like, maintaining the, the, this public good. And we have recently come up with the Open Zeppelin Security Center, where you can go and see like, metrics related to like, the security status of the contracts library, any security update, what is the test coverage, what is like, the, the usage. And I recommend you, if you want to spend some time there, you should go. And then, how we get into Polkadot. And before we get into the details, I think like Bjorn did a much better job than me. I'm going to be doing now talking about like the, the community and innovation happening here at Polkadot. Why innovation is important? At Open Zeppelin, we have like the thesis of we just work with the ecosystems and projects that are really shaping and changing the ecosystem. Because that way is a, is a way for us to look into the future and understand what's going to happen in terms of mass adoption in the, in the upcoming years. And we see that Polkadot is a hub of innovation. It's like the fastest growing developer community in Web3, more than 60, 16 times. Like the community has grown since 2018. More than uh, close to 20K contributions per month in, on GitHub. And as a, as a result, as yesterday was discussing, between Kusama uh, and Polkadot, you have 82 parachains w w live. You have like thousands of cross consensus messages sent and thousands of smart contracts deployed both in Ink and Rust. So we want to be part of this to not only like it's going to be like a mutual relationship where we want to learn from you, see what your community is doing, and build this together. One fun fact is like this is not just something we came out of nowhere. We have been engaging with the community, with the community, for a long time. Back in 2021, we integrated Moonbeam Network to Open Zeppelin Defender, and we enable any developer at Moonbeam to deploy the, a smart contract through our wizard that we discussed before. And at the beginning of this year, we, did, we performed like a security review, security review for Inc. and the cargo contract, where we took our learning and expertise from auditing Solidity to do like a benchmark between Inc. and Solidity, a few learnings we, we were able to, to extend to, to the dev team, the Inc. dev team. And I don't want to talk more about this because at 5.30 at the tech stage, there's going to be like a technical discussion about the security review hosted by the Inc. Dev team and our security research team. So I really encourage you to go there and, and learn more about the findings. And so we have already started, and we are here to stay. And the idea is that we want to build the Open Zeppelin Production Runtime Library and with the respective frame palettes uh, in a way to provide like, a faster way to access to the Polkadot block space in a secure way. This is something that I'm going to talk a little bit later on how we are planning to, to move forward this idea. 
but that's something that, as I put here, is something that should be a long-term relationship between the Polkadot community and Open Zeppelin. And the idea is we're going to present like a, a community proposal. And probably next week, we're going to start like, the community discussion uh, in the forum with, with this idea, with more details. Uh, and Open Zeppelin, we're going to, for the first like three months, we're going to be like working, discussing with the community about which are like the run times that are most needed in the space. We have an assumption. We're going to share our assumption. But we want to listen from you, for the users. What do you need? So we can start focusing. Yesterday, for example, and Bjorn mentioned that currently there are like two parachains templates. The idea is that we're going to bootstrap what's currently the ecosystem has, but we're going to put our expertise on top of that and also our security best practices. We're gonna, our security research team will audit those pilots, will audit those runtimes, so you can be sure that all like, the best practice has been implemented on, on, on the library. And also, we are committed to make all the parachains compatible with Defender, so all the community have access to open separate products and offerings. And of course, as it works in, in our ecosystems, we're going to have like a continuous loop with the community contributions. I know if I said it, but in the Solidity Smart Contract Library, we have more than 500 contributions for individual community members. You are open. This is a public good that we plan to put together, that, and we encourage like, the community to participate and work together as a, as a team. In terms of like, the, our dedicated team, we plan to have like, three full-time de developers focusing on that. The goal is like one of these developers will come from the Polkadot Academy to encourage like, this engagement of open settling with the Polkadot community. We, and we're going to internally source another developer, and we're going to find ways to, like, wh where is the best people to get to complete the team and have full support from the CTO and PM. As next steps, next week we are going out with the, starting like the, the technical, the community discussion with the proposal. You're going to find more details of the proposal and, and how we plan to execute, what is the timeline. I encourage you to wait for next week to have like the full picture of the proposal. And in two hours from now, we're going to have like the technical discussion around the cargo contract and ink security review. And feel free, we have our booth outside. Feel free to come and make any questions. So this is all. So we have two minutes left. Yeah. Thank you so much. One question, OK. Any question? We don't see anything. Any question? No? OK. So do, do you guys have an idea of which runtimes you're going to start with? What are the first runtimes you're going to? Yeah, that's a, a great question. Our assumption, based on early discussions we had with com different community members, is we wanna, want to have like a generic runtime, uh, similar to like what is moving today and then move on to more specific runtimes, for example, like DeFi, NFT. Uh, and the idea, is you will, like, the idea is to not only stop here. As I mentioned, it's like a long term. And you will have like, value from the beginning, but also I think the value will come from years from now when you have like, a full suite of different runtimes all audited. OK. OK, thank you so thank much. You.